Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video from Bird One. Today I'm going to show you our 8 GPU GTX 1060 build that I've been doing last week. You think like, hey, he didn't upload a video for about 7 damn days. Well, that's because we've been filming a lot of videos about different kind of things like cards and whatsoever. So we are doing some crazy ass benchmarks with a lot of graphics cards, even with new mining cards and whatsoever. So stay tuned for all the benchmark series that are coming and enjoy the video. Okay, so before I get started, we were planning to build a GTX 1060 3GB mining rig with 8 GPUs for someone that asked me to do with a budget of about $3,000. So you can always find the builds that I'm doing on buried1.com. It's, it's at least the recommended builds I'm doing, like 6 gigabyte cards or 3 gigabyte cards. But you can always find that on buried1.com on NVIDIA rig builds. I'll just put a link in the description below and you'll know what I mean. And I was doing a, a GPU build for the 1060s because it's a really efficient mining rig. I'm gonna show you at the very end what it's capable of doing with 8 GTX 1060s with 3 gigabyte of memory. So this wasn't really designed to do Ethereum mining, but this one was made for Zcash mining because GTX 1060s are just simply better at Zcash mining than doing Ethereum, unless you have really good Samsung memory in them. And these didn't have that because that was really visible in the price and that's the reason why I got them. But these guys are pretty darn good at efficiency. So we're also using two 1000 EVJ power supplies because yeah, we just had one laying around still and you know which one it is. It's the one with the burned down SATA cable. So we didn't have SATA cables anymore for this power supply. So it was kind of useless to use in another build. Or we could have gone and buy some $80 cables for it when the power supply is worth $150. So it was kind of useless to buy new cables when we can just buy another power supply for almost the same price. So this also gave the miner a really good efficiency boost because we're using 2000 watts of power supplies and it was only using about 680 watts so that's really good on efficiency but one more thing we were splitting up these two power supplies so one did have the set of cables and we were using that for powering the gpus and the ssd of course the other power supply that didn't have the set of cables anymore was powering the gpus four of them and it was powering the motherboard and the CPU and the other one was powering, as I just said, the SATA cables and the GPUs at the same time. But it wasn't powering the motherboard and the CPU, so we divided it on both of the power supplies and we also needed a little connection piece to keep one of the power supplies running because if you don't know that yet, if you have a power supply, but if you're using a dual power supply, you're gonna need a motherboard switch that is going to keep your power supply switched on because your power supply will not power up when you are using two power supplies at once and only one is connected to the motherboard it's just really one of the things that you need to know when you're using dual power supplies and that's a reason why this build was pretty nice because we could build a frame with two power supplies on each side of the build with the gpus in the middle so we started making our 8 GPU mining frame and as you all know I always make my own custom frames and I was doing this again with aluminum because it's one of the best things to make it of because aluminum also conducts heat and it's really fire resistant. But usually I make 6 GPU mining frames but today we were making the 8 GPU mining frame with two of the docking stations for power supplies on each side and we can even add up to four power supplies on this frame if we want to. That's going to be for a 1080 Ti build or something if we're going to do that in the future. But it was pretty simple to make this frame. Took me a little bit of time, about three hours to complete the whole process for all the beams and things. But as you can see, it was a really nice frame. Okay, so we arrived at the assembly of this video. We're gonna assemble the 8 GPU mining rig right now and we're gonna set everything onto the frame instead of a table and then we're gonna see how this miner is performing because 
we tested it before but I didn't show the numbers to you guys but of course we need to go ahead and test this out and assemble it first but if you want to see a full video of a build or start to finish I can always do that for you guys because we have a Linux build, OS X build, we can do SOS, we can do pimp build, we can do simple mining builds, we can do everything you want. But of course, it all depends to you guys which one you want to see first. So enjoy the show.
Okay, so it was time to fire up this really nice AGPU mining rig build. I will put all the parts in the description below that I used for this build because we are using Inno 3D GTX 1060s with 3GB of memory and we're using 2GB 1060s with 3GB because we made a benchmark video out of that so we already had those cards laying around and that's why we use it in the build. But of course, this puppy is doing pretty well at mining. I was really stunned at the result of what it was capable of doing but only Ethereum wasn't really so very good, let's say. It was doing about 158 megashes per second on Ethereum mining with a really low power supply consumption of about 700 watts. It was also doing about 2050 solutions per second on Zcash mining and that was pretty nice as well. So Zcash mining is the way to go on this mining rig because it was only using 680 watts, that's like very good. Because we're using the settings that we are always using, we set our memory clock to about 500 megahertz extra, our core memory clock is 150 megahertz extra and our TDP was 65%. So that was all the settings on this mining rig and it was really efficient. So this is a really nice build of about $3,000. That's pretty much money, but this rig just looks badass. Make sure to smash that subscribe button for the upcoming benchmark videos. And also the like button below. Or like buttons. Shit, we need to play some more over there.